This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another 48 hour energy update for the sign of Gemini. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Gemini. So let's jump into this reading and see what's coming through for you guys this week. <clears throat> we have Inner Temple, Devotion, tune in to the portal of your heart. So some of you need to do a heart chakra meditation this week to get the energies flowing in your heart chakra. Okay, so we have Keepers of the Earth, you are not alone, Ancient Ancestors stand beside you. So know that your guides are around you this week. Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, Seedling, Delight, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan. And we have Get Grounded, Empaths, Highly Sensitive, Connect with Nature. So some of you need to go on a nature walk this week, connect with nature, put your foot in some grass. Go to the beach. All right, so let's jump into the tarot and see what's coming through for you guys for this week. Messages for the sign of Gemini. Messages for the sign of Gemini. Hmm. So you're getting over a heartbreak. And you're trying to open up your heart again. Heart chakra meditation. Um... It may be a Leo you're dealing with, but for some of you, you're operating out of ego. You don't want a reconciliation with someone, or you're trying to... Hmm, let go of something. You're trying to let go of a heartbreak. Hmm. Alright, so the person you may be connecting to at this time could be a Sagittarius. But someone wants to heal a connection. You're juggling something or they are juggling something. They're trying to come out of the energy of lack and scarcity. They're not ready to walk away yet. But they are ready to explore something passionately with you. They may be sending you small reassurances this week. They may try to um, give you some type of caring, love or care. Alright, so let's see. What is this Ten of Swords for the sign of Gemini Spirit? Okay. So you're missing someone. You're crying over spilled milk. Something may have happened in your past and you're still holding on to it. Yeah, you're trying for something not to end. Or for something not to be reborn or regenerated. Could be a Scorpio some of you are dealing with or you may be opening up to one. Or for some of you, you're trying to open up to change, but it's harder than you may be anticipating. You're operating from ego because you see yourself as the queen of pentacles. Someone that can take care of themselves, someone that's caring, nurturing, kind. Someone that can bring anything into this 3D reality. <clears throat> A 
Okay, so you don't want a reconciliation because you have already closed off that cycle. You know that cycle has come to an end with this person and you're not trying to reconcile anything. Could be a Capricorn you're connecting to, but this person may be operating or you may be operating out of obsession, anxiety, and lower energy levels. You may be enslaved to something and you're feeling like you have no choice in the matter. But somebody wants healing because they're trying to not be anxious about something. Um, they're not losing sleep over it, but they do want a reconciliation or healing of some sort. You are juggling between two ideas, two people or something, because you feel something is not as it seems. Something is being hidden from you. Yeah. You don't want to collaborate with someone. Because you feel at some point in time this person is going to abandon you. You're not ready to walk away yet, but you're stuck between making a decision. Between two things that you may be passionate about. You want to explore something passionately. But it's just in the starting up energy right now. Mm-hmm. But you really want stable commitment. Probably with a Sagittarius or trying to find a divine calling. Could be a Taurus you're trying to start something with. Or you may be having a spiritual awakening at this point in time and it's now starting. And you're at a crossroads. But somebody ultimately hurt you. And I think you're angry about this. You're trying to open up to change, but it's hard. It's difficult. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.